the season. But now we're ready for our recurve medal, gold medal match. And, now, and the first the athlete United to the field of play needs an introduction. If you don't know him, from the United States, it's Brady Ellison. And from Brazil, Marcus de Almeida. Wow, right? Oh, our number man. one qualifier and our number two qualifier coming into this, and they both made it to the gold medal match. Yeah, heavy, heavy hitters. So for target number one is going to be Brady Ellison. The 35-year-old still at the top of his game. Life changes for him over the course of his archery career. A father moving to Montana. And for Brady, ranked sixth in the world. Of course, he's an Olympic medalist as well. And Marcus had an amazing year last year himself. There were other times he didn't win the world championships and the other things, but he shot his scores and stuff and everything were just top notch last year. Mm -hmm. So the Almeida, your number one ranked archer in the world. Olympian, 168 matches. To his credit, 74% win percentage, but we're starting off with the Stars and Stripes. Ten. So where you start these matches. And both the tens are a really good start. They both look really good. I know Brady put a lot of time in the practice range. He was back there and we talked a lot. And he's really been working hard on that setup. So those are two really good starts. Oh, Marcus gives you a little bit of an opening there. And he knew it when he shot it. He definitely had the response of not being happy with it. And of course, you can see that these archers are shooting the larger diameter arrows. Ten, ten, the ten, clicker. Ten. Brady with Brady looks on his face. Mm -hmm. So with that perfect score and the one point that Marcus dropped. It's two set points. Now, Rio, for those people that are just joining us, tell us how this scoring system works. Uh, we shoot from 18 meters at a 10 ring, about the approximate size of a U.S. silver dollar. Uh, it's set up on a set system. Your, your score for your three arrows will be accumulative, and the winner of the end with the highest score will be awarded two points. If there's a tie, they will split the points at one apiece, and the first archer to reach six will be your winner. If the archers tie at five points apiece, what happens? Then we get an extra little show of uh, <laughs> one arrow closest to the dead center shoot off, which is always fun and exciting to watch. Indoor World Series finals here at the South Point Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. And as much as we would love them, neither one of the archers really want that unless Nobody. they're trailing. <laughs> This our fifth round of the Indoor World Series. First round was in Lausanne, then Strassen, then Taipei, Neem, true world event. Archers travel from all over the world to compete at a variety of these places. And here we are. The Brazilian kicks us off. No. see that sight adjustment. He's going for a couple of clicks, as we call it. He's going to move that sight toward the angle of the arrow, chase the arrow. So he's moving that left to bring it back to the right. Yeah. Brady with a good one. Yeah. It was a good, solid arrow. 
Way better come back from that first one. He was not happy. And maybe the clicks on his sight were just what he needed to get that where it needed to be. Just on the edge. I think it caught. I think so too. I'm with you. That one was a little, little concerning. It was a bit of a long hold, but he fought through it, Brady Ellison. Now, currently, we have 10-9-10 unofficially for yeah. both archers. We'll see how that ends up. Now you're, now you're in the hands of the judge. Open for the, the fingers crossed and the hang in there. As we wait for the official yep. score, it's moved up to a 10. So 30 points for Brady Ellison as we expected. And just like that, Ellison's got a four to zero set point lead. And you might think, wow, we're going to six and that's insurmountable. It is not at this level. Oh, it can change in a hurry, especially when you're facing the number one ranked archer in the world. <laughs> he hasn't got there by being a fluke. 100%. Marcus Delamedia, the world youth champion, world medalist in his career. He started archery back in 2010, made his international debut in 2013. Here he is in Las Vegas, trying to claw his way back into this gold medal contention. And that's all he can do. 18 meters downrange, going for that American U.S. silver dollar size 10 ring. Brady Ellison not giving him any room to come back. Now all he can hope for is to put 10s down there and hope Brady gives him a little opening because he at least needs to tie or win this set to keep from losing the whole match. And that's a great arrow to put it down there and let Brady look at. Good looking arrow. Yeah, that's how you, that's how you uh, respond to Delmeda's extra really good arrow. Yeah, because Delmeda put one in there right in the middle. 10, 10, 10, perfect score. All right. So Brady needs to tend to tie it and go five to one. Ten, 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 he got it. What a way to Just like in the other match, that makes a really tall hill for him to climb back out of, but it is not insurmountable. Mel Nichols in the coaching box for Brady Ellison. Coach and stepfather. Yeah. And Mel definitely knows what he needs to say to Brady to get him motivated. So five set points to one. Brady Ellison from the United States leaves Marcus de Almeida from Brazil. And right now, the Almeida, if he can pull off a win in this end, he could take it to 5-3. It's a tall mountain, but it's not an impossible mountain. But for Brady Ellison, what he's looking at is he's looking at all he needs to do is tie, and he will take the Indoor World Series gold medal. Yeah, you sit down there and you say, I got three tens to put down there, and it, the match is mine. See if we get perfect archery from both of these archers. Ten. Well, then both starting off with 10s, it's, it's, 
got to be putting the pressure on Brady. He knows that if he can finish this out with two tens, it's his. Ten. And what a good, yes. strong arrow. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect, score. Perfect for Marcus Dale Media. For Brady Ellison, he hasn't missed yet. This would be his 12th 10 in a row and for the win. Yep. He got it. What a win for Brady Ellison. A perfect 30, 30, 30, 30. Marcus D. Almedia only shot two nines that entire match. And that's not bad shooting. No, but he just did one nine each end and that gave Brady the big lead. And able to close it out. And another Indoor World Series gold medal for Brady Ellison. Brady Ellison is looking for those wins in an Olympic year to just continue his rise of confidence. Yeah, I'm Look at him take a deep breath there, like, whoa, glad that's over. Yeah. It feels good to shoot it. You're like, man, I shot really good. And, and then you just got to exhale because it's like all that tension. Everything's finally letting out now that the match is over and you've won.